Good morning, folks. We've got a number of interesting items for you today. Lightning, a comet disaster in the past, and Earth's magnetic field. But first, we expected a little CME overnight, so let's begin at spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star, mostly quiet. The coronal hole turns through center disk, and on the north, departing, we find one burst towards the end of the sequence. Let's go to the CME impact at Earth first. Quiet solar wind was modestly enhanced as the shock wave came across our planet right about the time it was expected. Not very fast, not very dense, but an easily noticeable shock signature which drove only minor geomagnetic activity. We did get several high C-class flares, and one of these tried to pop out a CME. Most of the plasma did collapse back down. We will still be watching the sunspots on the north and south. They are large and developing flare capabilities, and the coronal hole will enhance geospace solar wind this weekend. Eyes on the sun. And now, eyes on the ocean, as the first Sentinel-6 sea level height product is released. It is always so incredible to see how much variation there is in the ocean at any given time. They like to paint sea level rise as homogenous in the news, but there are always above and below average areas. Now, let's head into the past. Yet another example of an ancient civilization disappearing suddenly and modern scientists blaming it on a comet. As with every other instance of this kind, there are tremendous signs that it was actually a solar event, especially the sediment and isotope analysis. Of course, this one hits the super flare timeline as well, perfectly hard to ignore. Up next, we have a look at modeling the magnetic field over the Holocene. It mentions how the modern shift is unlike anything seen over that period, which is kind of obvious we haven't had an excursion since 12,000 years ago, and we're back in one now. But look at where the South Atlantic anomaly used to be, the Northeast Indian Ocean, the exact place where the North and South magnetic poles are set to meet in their shift on collision course for Sumatra. Now, that's a coincidence. And it brings us to yesterday's big story on lightning. It was just a couple years ago we reported new records for distance and duration of a strike. Anyone remember this one? Well, yesterday, they described new records for both. And both of those bolts happened a couple years ago, but it does take that long to analyze some of the data. As almost every article is shockingly and correctly pointing out, this has nothing to do with climate change or global warming or human pollution. But what they leave out is it does have to do with cosmic rays, the global electric circuit, and the changing electrodynamics of Earth. Again, because we are entering geomagnetic excursion and approaching the next stage of Earth. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.